Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to Ike Live. We've got a wonderful show in store for you tonight as Elizabeth fixes the camera. Woo! I will now read an excerpt <laughs> of Unwrapping Your Passion. It's about effort, intensity, and focus. Pete said. <laughs> now, I, I did indeed bring a friend and colleague. Mr. Bill Taylor. Today you can find Pete on TV and in magazines, <laughs> sharing his passion with others. He also runs the Bass University, teaching others how to snag big catches like Scott Martin. <laughs> That's got to make you feel good to be able to impact so many kids. It is. It's basically what drives me. The, what has come out of this whole thing, because all I wanted in my, my slogan, teaching the world to fish. All I want to do is just teach people how to fish, but it has had such an impact in people's lives. I get daily stories of from from addicts who who spend their time on the water instead of spend their time thinking about their drugs, or hmm. dads who take their kids fishing. Or my goal is to teach a dad so he can be the hero and teach his kids. Yeah, you right. know that's yeah. that's cool because I can be the hero, but I'd rather dad be the hero. You think this win came too early in your career? You know that, that's a good question. I I don't feel like it's a bad any bad time to win the classic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't. You don't this, this this no kidding. Be, that could have been my only shot. So um, I don't think it's a, definitely a, ba- a bad time. Michael Lacanelli and Peter too. Brian the Carpenter and Dave for you. Eric the intern and all you do. Becky is here. And she's here for you. <laughs> it's time for Ike Live. This guitar is so out of tune, it's awful. Open up your eyes. Ow. I had three horrible weeks. I don't want to spend the whole show talking about it. I just want to let it all out right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Hey, that, 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 I'm telling you right now. What what you're talking about is a slump, you know, and it's it's a process that you got to go through. Oh, Any man. competitor goes through it. <laughs> but uh, but it's an interesting solution that you came up with. Any any plans on bringing Byron Velvic out of retirement? For, for this one. Well, uh, we brought him last year. He's not allowed to be there this year because per Scott Martin, we were only allowed one visor in the arena at one time. <laughs> <laughs> the website's a little bit tricky sometimes right. to get through. Yeah. But we, are, well, you, are you going to be... I it, Pete. I, I, don't, I don't know if you know anything about me, but I, I don't even have a computer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, there, there he is. There's transgender. <laughs> There's a like transgender in a the tutu. First one dancing. <laughs> My guy can <laughs> Damn, it. there Look he is. Him. Before it was cool. <laughs> Before, Before it was cool, it was cool <laughs> man. Look at that. I was way ahead of my time. Look at that. Wow. Here it oh, goes. there it goes. It's hanging off his foot like 12 <laughs> inches. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, here he comes. Hey, My- Miles, so, so you know what you're looking at. Mike was wearing a tutu that like a ballerina would wear, a pair of black sweatpants, and like knee-high sweat socks halfway hanging off of his feet. <laughs> and he's like dancing to the Deftones in Brian's living room. Oh. <laughs> and he's got Chris Cornell hair circa 1993. <laughs> 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 Days to get <laughs> Hey, best thing, you know, the coolest thing about this picture, on Mike's bachelor party, we actually had that blown up to midget size yeah. and we brought it out on the bachelor party yeah, with us. It was midget three size. three and a half foot tall. Yeah, yeah, uh, a lot, of them, I, a lot of them got set on fire. How about it, boys? Yeah. Or should I say, how about it, brothers? Oh! <laughs> you feel like pro wrestling owes you something? You started it all. I, you know, I don't know if pro wrestling owes me anything, but I just know that I'm happy that there wasn't all the YouTubers that came up into the pro wrestling pack. <laughs> because I'll tell you one thing, brothers. I have spilt more whiskey on barroom floors and wasted more money on that than any YouTuber could ever dream of doing, brother. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Do you think that you can get 
a set of 24 inch pythons like this, brother, without steroids. You can if you really want to. But I didn't. I definitely took steroids. <laughs> Minimum of 10,000 yeah. people saw my butt. So you're, you're mid-flush. Yeah. You're, like, you're, oh, you're yeah. like the turtle's out, and it's like the train's just like... They're hauling from Richmond to D.C. And every one of them in the window is like... It was terrible. Did the engineer slow down? I don't know. It felt like slow motion to me, but... Wow. Do you have any tips for people that are out in the boat how, what the best place on oh, the boat yeah, I'm a, to take care of your business yeah. is? I mean, Passenger side? You want the rundown? Yeah. yeah. I like All right. Um, <laughs> let me see how we right, go. we're going to recreate. Okay. Now, I hear a lot of guys, they, they tell poop stories, and they're always like hanging on to a power pole in the motor, <laughs> yeah. and like, that's impractical yeah. and uncomfortable. <laughs> it okay. is. <laughs> I, do this on a, like I do this on a daily basis, so I've really mastered it. Okay. It works best in single council boats. <laughs> you go to the passenger side, normally keeps his rods. Yep. You move all those rods out of the way. Get in there. And then That's an just, important first step. Yeah. You don't want to. You know, want to break anything or any drippage or by a crankbait. whatever. You get those out of the way. Obviously, you pull your pants down, and then you just sit on the rail. It's very comfortable, <laughs> you know? But the only thing uh, but a little tuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> or else you'll pee all over yourself. So you pull the pants down, tuck. Then you're hanging over the rail. You're on, you're on Facebook. You're comfortable. You're sitting. Yeah. You're not hanging on for dear life trying not to fall into the lake. You know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and start with some hook set tips for finicky bass. You got to let him have it. You got to feed him a little bit of line. Strip it. Strip it a little bit of line mm. until you see that line get tight. And you slowly start to pull because that's going to turn that fish's head. You know what I'm talking about? It's going to turn the fish's head right towards you. <laughs> <laughs> With a 12 odd hook, you turn them and you rip them. Well, there's so much drama in a Walmart store. It's kind of hard to find the Cinco, much less a place to store them. So I use half their bag, but the zippers all break, and you know, they start to sag. And I throw in shade and play no. I need good storage in my life, and who better than Flambo? I kick a little something for your cheese if you send some flambo love to me i'm talking i can nail his boat low is it a giveaway or just a cheap porno make christmas merry again fill my stocking full of flambo and maybe liquid mayhem <laughs> Wow, man, Kyle, Kyle uh, rocked it, Pete. You gotta admit that's a that, clear winner. That. Good one, dude. Three pounder. One hook. Can see. Oh. <laughs>